Hello everyone, hope you're all okay. Right, I'm coming back on this time to show you some more flowers that I've been doing. These are the ones that I've already shown you these last week uh, and I did make some, I think it was the week before, uh, on um, on one of my live shows. Uh, uh, and they were inspired originally by a lady on Instagram called Lulu Lab. Lulu, I think it is, Lavalu or something like that. I, I will leave the link in the description box. She's also on YouTube, but her comments are turned off, so you can't leave comments. Uh, but I will, I will leave the link. So the technique is, is um, she used a, a watercolour base, watercolour base to make a shape, and then she dripped in some acrylic ink. Well, I hadn't got, I don't know what watercolour she was using, but I hadn't got the same ink, so I just used what I'd got. And, you know, we just went off on a, a pretty, a pretty, prettiness thing. <laughs> so, I, and I can't stop making them. I, I just love them so much. You know what I'm like when I... <laughs> When I get a bee in my bonnet, <laughs> this is the bee that's in my bonnet at the minute. <laughs> so I've, for these, I have used all, I've just been trying all different paints and different inks and um, just different supplies that I've got. And I, I just think they're beautiful. If I said like a Christmassy one, it wasn't intentional. But and the gold, oh now gold, we have we have a story about the gold pen. Oh my god. <laughs> on Monday <laughs> on Monday, Mr. Doodle was having a snooze downstairs in his chair. I was sitting on the settee watching Janet Nash's um live stream and I'd got my sheets of paper that I'd already painted the flowers on and my black pens to do the outlines and I had got four of these pens I took these down all right gold black silver and white so I was watching Janet's video and I thought right I'll put so I'd done the outlines and I'd put I thought right I'll put some <laughs> I'll put some gold dots on now. <laughs> so I picked the gold get pick the gold pen up. Trudy will be laughing because she already knows this story. <laughs> I picked the gold pen up. And then I think I went to to write a comment in Janet's on Janet's video. That was it. Gold pen totally vanished. I was an hour, hour and a half searching for this damn pen. I was going absolutely fruit loops. And I, in the end, I said, I'm going to have to go because I think the men in white coats are at the door. It was sending me potty. I was, but I was laughing. And, and anyway, Mr. Doodle woke up. He says, what's the matter? I says, I've lost my gold pen. I've had it, just had it in my hand and poof, it's just vanished. So, of course, he helped me. I mean, on our settee, we've got loads of cushions and I've also got a, a duvet <laughs> when it's cold. So we're there taking all the cushions off, feeling down the back of the settee, trying to feel under the settee. It couldn't possibly have gone under the settee, but we still felt under there. Looked under the chair, shook the duvet. And I'd been feeling all sort of, I'm doing it like you can see me, but patting all my body to see if it had, because the pens have got like a hook on the on the lid. I thought, well, it might have just got hooked on my clothes somewhere. No, kept doing that. No, not there. So Mr. Doodle, he helped me check. Like, where the hell is it? Anyway, I thought, well, I wonder if just by chance I actually hadn't picked the pen up. Wonder if I'd left it upstairs. So I came upstairs, looked in the box. No, it wasn't there. I thought, well, I knew I took it down. Knew I'd had it in my hand. And he said, it's not gone down your top, has it? And I thought, I nearly said to him, well, do you not think I've checked? Because I've, I've been patting my body. But I didn't say anything. I just lifted the top of the neck of my top. And there was this gold pen stuck. <laughs> stuck down my bra, basically. 
<laughs> like, what the hell? How has that? I just, what I don't get is how on earth it had got down there. I think I must have just rested it under my double chins or something and it had rolled down there. But, oh my God, it was so funny. I, I really was gobsmacked to see this pen down there. <laughs> so I had to take a photograph and send Trudy it. <laughs> oh dear, it was funny. So, yes, my cleavage is now known as my pen rest so if i ever lose anything let's have a look down there <laughs> oh dear oh it drives you mad though when you lose things don't it <laughs> so yes that's what this gold pen is love it really is like my favorite gold pen but you can only buy those in the set they're not available as far as i know uh, um single they're pretty i mean they're they're all the same sort of just the same black dots and but oh, i love them very pretty lovely and then little bits that was left had turned into hearts and if there was any bigger pieces of no that's not a heart that was a circle it's definitely not a heart that's a circle <laughs> we'll see hearts in a minute um i have been i don't know where i've put them now but i've been any bits that was left using my square and half inch square punch so that's those i think i actually did excuse me did those last week these then I went on for oh I'll do some hearts aren't they pretty in one of my videos I think it was could have been this week's live I don't know I mentioned that pretty colours that I really loved and it was the Jane Davenport's no not Jane Davenport what are they called hang on a minute no it is Jane Davenport yeah it was these it was this colour, that one there, that pink there, which is, no, that's not it, wrong one, fairy tale. So from the bright set, it was the fairy tale pink that I'd put down, pinky purple it is, and then I can't show you it now because I've put it away, but it was the Dr. P.H. Martin Spectralite collection and it was emerald and I just plopped the emerald on and can you see, look, how it turns it purple? Oh, I love those two colours. It's like when you get viridian green and... um well, a rose, a rose pink sort of thing. It Oh, it sends it such a beautiful colour. I just love colour. In case anybody hadn't picked up on that, I love colour. <laughs> and I've left white, see? <laughs> I'm getting better, but it does, they do look nice with white around the edge. Oh, and these are what I've used Trudy's pens on, look, that she sent me. Sent us. You see the shown these in the previous video. Trudy very kindly sent us these beautiful glitter pens. Oh, they're fantastic, really fantastic pens. So there was the Sakura jelly roll, absolutely beautiful. And I've just done little bits. I don't know whether it's picking it up. I think it is just little swells and just for a little bit extra. I think I might be doing some more hearts. Love them. Love. So that's those. And then I've got some sea slugs. <laughs> I keep calling these my sea slugs. <laughs> 
Well, they were meant to be like leaf shapes, but they look like sea slugs. But I don't care what they are. It's just prettiness, isn't it? You know, you could cut a piece in half and sit a little Tim Holtz boy on or whatever. <laughs> but sea slugs. But that, this ink, look. Oh, oh, this, the green is the gouache, the himi gouaches watered down. I didn't know whether that would work. And then it's gone like dense knocking the camera can you see it's gone like dendritic a little bit that again was the dr martin's inks don't know what color that was but oh, it's just such a lot of fun experimenting in the laboratory Love, love. Oh, these have got the bits of glitter. I just literally, uh, those pens, as I said in my previous video, you just have to, I just literally held it, not near the nib, at the other end, at the top end, and just ever so lightly, and the, the ink just comes out beautifully. You don't have to press at all. And normally I thought, well, oh, no, I really hope I don't mess it up, because often on gouache, they, it doesn't they don't like some pens but that was they were fine but aren't they pretty just experimenting with all your supplies and that lovely so they're the sea slugs <laughs> And then there's a load more here. Oh, I've got a few now. <laughs> Again, I've used the... Oh, I'll put silver on there, silver and gold. And i put some, yeah, put some of the glitter on as well. Just scribbly glitter pen. Looks like a ladybug. <laughs> All different colours. I can't remember which one it was now. One of them... Um, I don't know. I've got this other ink that I've had for years. A Caldo drawing ink. And I got these. There's several colours in it, as you can see. I think pink was probably my favourite colour. So I think it could be that, but I can't be certain. Uh, um, and I got these from the works online. I've never, ever seen it in the shop. And I've got, I've got several colours of it. And then they stopped doing them. And um, because they're 150 milliliter bottles. So it's quite a big bottle. And I think they were three pounds. I thought, oh, that's, a, that's good for a drawing ink. And they're beautiful inks. But they don't sell them now. Can't find them online or anywhere. Not, not those particular ones. But anyway, what I was going to say was, I thought, oh, I'll try some of that. I'll put some on a... A palette and water it down but that didn't you didn't get the the same effect and i really can't remember whether this was those i think it probably was and i'd put purple on it but it didn't sort of bleed into it as much but it doesn't matter does it it's still pretty still lovely candy <laughs> we're fed up yet silver and yeah i think these was the ones that i'd use that with and then a purple acrylic oh i'm having such a lot of fun it makes me so happy these really make me so happy all this color and just you know what i tend to do is just come in here and probably do two or three sheets of the paper and then go off and leave it to dry and come back and then i'll sit at night time scribbling on them and whatever and cutting them out more sea slugs <laughs> <coughs> this was a different batch i don't know what i think these were the jane davenport's water bases and other bits and bobs but 
of it. Lemon, lemony lime. <laughs> a sea slug. <laughs> is there such a thing as a sea slug? I don't know. If not, there is now. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear little bits again these have got the gel pens glitter gel pens on you see look all just loosely scribbled on that's I, I just love scribbling <laughs> Very, very pretty. Oh, look. So pretty. Right, and that is it. That's all I've got to show you. I didn't think that would take 15 minutes. Sorry about that. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, put the little sea slugs in there before they slither away. So thank you ever so much for watching. And as I say, I will. There might be somebody that watches this that hasn't seen me doing them and might like to watch me doing them sometime I don't know anyway no doubt I'll be back on at some point doing some painty sort of thing so have a good day everyone get your art supplies out and get art in if you've got art supplies because it's all good fun and it's it makes for happiness in my opinion <laughs> okay then thank you for watching take care have a good day bye